Super Sonic's here back with some Space Engineers. Now, technically, I had a second. This is the second take of the video because I screwed up my alternative intro. So let's go back to the one that no one understands. But anyway, we're back with Engineers, and I'm just going to quickly put a heads up saying that I've been kind of busy with other things recently. So what I'm showing you is technically something that's been in the world uh, in my sort of like what what are we on now the new creative world what five six seventh iteration I don't know the game keeps changing. And wants me to create new worlds every so often. So anyway, um, this is a ship that is technically was never really meant to be released, but because I've been busy in other games like No Man's Sky, Warframe, and more recently, I have taken uh, delivery of yet more computers. Because uh, to put a long story short, sort of trying to set up my own business kind of thing. And uh, well, you can see in the face cam here, I got a bunch of these small form factor uh, Dell Optiplex SKUs that I just need to work on. These are 70 tens currently, so you know I've got things to do in the real world. You know, as much as I do game constantly, I just haven't really been on engineers much. Uh, so hence why, hence why I'm just showing you this thing in the world that technically, <laughs> like I said, never really meant to be released because the ship I'm on right now is the Tau Defender. Uh, Tau Defend? No, wrong ship. The Tau Evictor, and I've shown you this ship before already, um, and it's certainly. A much better version of the ship that's over there because this this thing here is I would say the predecessor to um, the actual well to the Evictor um, Same principle. I was trying to build a ship um, Well, the Evictor was meant to be obviously that overpowered ship using mods to counteract the corruption mod and I was taking a lot of inspiration from the Steel Colossus, which is a very old ship that I had made before, and that was meant to be the absolute tank of, of the, um, you know, the tank of the galaxy, as it were, just a ship that was never really meant to die. Uh, and, you know, following that kind of very sort of long-bodied uh, design here, rather than, I would say, the arguably much better um, twin sort of, like, actually looks a bit like a, um, a tuning fork, the, uh, the Evictor, actually, if I sort of... Uh, look at it from this angle. I suppose it's a bit like a tuning fork, although <laughs> tuning forks don't have essentially a freaking super laser uh, in the middle. And this thing, you can sort of see the, the the slight similarities, I suppose, between the two ships. Uh, more specifically, like the gun emplacements here, these 900 mil side cannons. Uh, although obviously on this particular ship, there's a lot more of them. And in this case, being a single body rather than a um, a, a split body design. Um, this is essentially has the same core structure in the sense that it had um, it, the body basically full of you know shields, a few gyros here and there, just spacing them out, cargo and stuff like that. And of course, being a, a, a larger ship, there is obviously a lot more um, guns on this thing. While the the Evicta does have less, um, I suppose, number of armaments, uh, it, it has arguably a lot. Well, it's a lot cheaper of design. Better maneuverability, and in general, I just kind of prefer the way it looks. Um, every one and their mother has done probably a, a, a vaguely cylindrical body design ship before. Uh, and then, to be honest, as I get towards the back section, the ship gets really, really strange. Um, let's just say. And you can tell this is the, the predecessor ship, as it's not quite as refined. Uh, I'm only really showing you this, like I just said. A, I haven't been on engineers to make anything new yet, as of uh, this, well, as of now. Uh, plus, as I keep saying, as much as I'm not exactly a very good builder, and I don't believe, well, I don't consider myself to be a very uh, good builder in engineers, I build things because people seem to like my, I, I suppose, my idea on things, maybe. Maybe I got too many, actually, I think to be honest, I have too many views and followers in terms of my engineers' content because I made, way back in the day, the high gravity mass accelerator along with the S3SE, two ship designs. Um, that just got my channel where it is. Not that my channel is actually growing, it's actually a rather stable figure. My subscriber count does go up and down, but it never really changes. It's kind of um, pretty much where it is at the moment. Uh, and as much as I do get people um, occasionally um, commenting on my other videos saying, Hey, do engineers! It's like, I get that the majority of my subscriber base is engineers, but as I've, you've clearly seen now, and I've said this before in the past, I get a bit bored of one game. I like to play other games and try and get videos out for those. And yes, before people uh, start questioning me yet further, there will be more No Man's Sky build uh, videos, even though some people are going to probably hate me for doing that. It's my channel. I want to do something different. I'm enjoying No Man's Sky. It's, it's not a crime, is it? Okay, rant over. So let's get back to the ship. I'm sorry, I you should know me by now. I do uh, rant on sometimes. Um, but anyway, yes, um, I did. I did use the same uh, 
emergency booster thruster mods um, for the back main thruster pack, as I have done with the Evicta. But of, co of course, being a much larger ship, this thing is actually a lot slower, even though we actually still have, uh, we have four of those engines at the back here. And the Evicta technically has the exact same four engines at the back, so um, this thing is, you know, packing the same amount of uh, thruster power. Uh, you can also see on the side here, we've got these two big ear-like structures, which are actually two super lasers, as you can see, with um, their corresponding emplacements and angular armor, because I kind of like the way it looks. Um, so yeah, they would basically fire straight out, and then right at the front here, just like the Evicta, we also have uh, some little Davids, as they are pretty good. I mean, one thing I would love to check... Uh, cause actually, I have no idea. As far as the as far as like the uh, battle cannons and turrets mod is concerned, I actually would love to see which is technically better in terms of damage: a little David round or a 900 mil round. Because like, if we're looking sheerly at just the, the sort of size um, of of the actual bullet that you make, its cost as well as uh, the actual cannon itself, they all seem very similar. I would presume the little David is arguably a better cannon in terms of damage at least, but I don't know. I need to actually uh, go and test that at some point when I am very bored, because I'm curious. Uh, but anyway, yes, let's get into the inside of this thing uh, and show you what's going on. Let me actually... <laughs> give me a second. Where do I even get in uh, my own ship? Did I even um, make a door? Please, please tell me. I'm yes, I did. Okay, I did make a door. I'm not completely insane. Now, I can't remember how far I... I, oh yeah, I remember now. Um, yeah, the interior is kind of bare bones, but like I said, I never really finished this. Um, it was more for, you know, it was the, like I said, it was the predecessor to the Evicta, and after a while I was like, you know what, this isn't working uh, in the way that I would like, and hence I built the other ship. Um, but yes, you can see as I'm walking around here, we have four of the Deuterium reactors, of course. Kind of I kind of like this mod if you need a lot of power, like it's just, yeah, I mean... Come to think of it, is there well apart apart from like the, the the few mods on the workshop that are like cheaty in terms of uh, unlimited power, like I you can get some mods with like silly like you know reactors which you know, give you like terawatts of power or something. Um, these being thirty gigawatt reactors and these are actually balanced reactors as far as I'm concerned. I kind of wonder is there actually any mods any more well any other mods that have reactors which are even better than this. I'm kind of curious in that front. So anyway, yes, um, if I go up up here, up this uh, ladder here, you can see, we, of course, we've got the NPC mod. It's kind of the main reason why the ship, well, the Evictor especially, uh, was as overpowered as it is. The bridge itself is not one of my best designs. I I always have some, some like, I always have issues with building bridges of ships. I just never really get them the way I like them. Um, I, I don't know. It, it bugs me. Like, I'll, I'll build something, even though I, I'll be actually done with the ship. I might even put it on my channel and showcase it. There'll be something, you know, there'll be something, especially like the bridge, for example, that just bugs me. It's just not what I was uh, really hoping for. Why did I just, 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 I just don't quite like it. I don't, I don't know why. I have issues with that. Anyway, yes, at the back here, the same on the other side, is a deuterium processing thing. Um, if I go through here, uh, this is just the underside of the reactors, if you couldn't tell. Uh, there are assemblers, a couple of gyros. These, I think, are the thousand, yep, they are the thousand times gyros. Another... Uh, you know what? I've been playing too much No Man's Sky because I'm trying to like tap shift um, to um, enable sprinting, but no, you have to hold shift. You can tell I've been playing other games. Um, so yes, it was the same on the other side here. Assemblers are there as well. Uh, but unlike the Evictor, you can run down the entirety of the uh, the main body. Now this is mostly for just service access, but you can sort of see there's just tons of. Uh, well, tons of shield generator parts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's definitely more shields on this particular ship, uh, but then you would kind of expect that because it is a larger ship. And um, through at the front here, I didn't even end up doing anything, it looks like, apart from putting a uh, gravity generator. And, of course, I can go back down the same corridor on the other side. Um, but, yeah, I can't, like as you saw with the Evictor, I did away with the, the access hatches because it kind of keeps the size down. It saves you adding extra vents and pipe work to get air into those areas and other various things. But I suppose all in all, if you you know if you saw the Evicta video, you can sort of see where I was roughly going for um, with this particular um, ship. And actually, just like the Evicta, here's a little fun fact: this ship does not have much in the ways of reverse thrust, and that is purely because of the design. Um, the Evicta is kind of very streamlined. I have lots of um, you know angular pieces of armor um, going on here, and all in all. It's a very clean aesthetic, uh, at least in my opinion, but, you know, 
you have to have thrust in all directions and you can kind of see even though I kind of had to like ruin how the armor looks slightly you know I've got a few ramp thrusters in there there's a couple thrusters I just shoved on there um, and more importantly you can see another bank of um, eight thrusters in uh, just sh well <coughs> just next to the laser uh, to try and slow this thing down and you know it's still not a lot because this thing can go from you know zero to a thousand meters per second in probably less than 10 15 seconds this thing's quick uh, but slowing down takes minutes it's it's a bit like um I suppose it's a bit like the American freight trains, right? They're several miles long. I mean, yes, this is... Ignore the size uh, reference here. But it's once those trains get up to speed, they take literally miles and miles to slow down because they're so big and heavy. The Evictor is just the same. And with its predecessor here, I ended up having to just stick random thrusters on the underside here just to try and get this thing to slow down. As... Is there actually even any other reverse thrust? Oh, yeah, okay. There's a bank on the nose. Um two large thrusters on the underside here. These these arguably should be emergency boost thrusters in reverse. Those would have the power to slow this thing down. Um, but alas, it was not the case, or at least I didn't build it, because like I said, I built the Evictor in its place. And that's about it for as far as I'm going to say for this particular ship that never really was meant to see the light of day, but regardless, I have showcased it mostly due to lack of other things to show, and I need to get at least one engineer's video out a week. So at least you have something to look at for those Engineers fans that still, for some reason, <laughs> stick around and watch my crappy videos. And yes, I'm not going to lie, I don't, my videos are a bit naff, but that's the way I am. And to be fair, I still get a little bit of money from YouTube, so I'm, you know, I'm going to keep the ball rolling, you know what I mean? It's not my primary focus, like I said, I do have other games, I actually am starting to do more things in real life, so you know, YouTube was never my primary focus, um, but... I don't know, unless I start seeing a hu uh, an increase in, like, unless my channel starts mushrooming and starts getting really popular, I probably never will put a huge amount of effort into this channel, because that's the thing, though. Like, the channel's small, you see. It's pretty stagnant at the moment. I'm not gaining or losing anything, but because of the channel's consistency for the fact that people are still here, I will keep the ball rolling, as I say. If the channel suddenly explodes again, back in the days of when I had, like, the S3SE videos, um, you know, well, back when those videos, you know, gained a lot of popularity, and if I suddenly get, you know, a mushrooming of the channel, uh, and more importantly, you know, if money starts coming in, because back when my channel was growing, I was getting like a hundred quid a month, which is not a huge amount as far as like YouTubers are concerned. You know, YouTubers can get a lot of more, a lot more money than that. Uh, but the fact is, it was actually a second income for me. Obviously, it tapered off heavily. Now I only get about. What's the minimum payment for AdSense nowadays? What, 60, 70 quid every four to five months? Yeah, money has slowed down a lot, but still here. People still seem to be interested in the videos, so I will continue making them. But yes, I'm going to shut up now because I could certainly ramble about this subject for way, way too long. And uh, yes, this, <laughs> if you like my videos, then at least you don't mind my rambling. I ramble a lot, if you couldn't tell. Probably because I'm lonely. <laughs> I don't have friends. But that's... Irrelevant. Um, so yes, let me know what you think of this round of shit down below in the comments. Link to my Discord is in the description as always. And you'll know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.